was clear that it was probably the most stunning place that you, know, you could hope to see in Switzerland. Where we are here in Grindelwald, like we're up this pretty narrow valley. Um, we've got the Eiger straight across the way. When it's clear, you can see Monk and Jungfrau back behind it. It's narrower valleys, but still just like big relief. So it makes for a really dramatic scenery. Well, the north face of the Eiger is like one of the most famous uh, north faces in the Alps. Around here, you have so many opportunities where you can go skiing, you can go hiking, you can go mountain biking uh, with the background of the Eiger and the monk and the Jungfrau. You get out and you just have this sea of clouds beneath you and you get out your bike and you just roll down to the valley below and it's just the scenery you don't get to see anywhere else. Day one in Grindelwald, and uh, we're heading up the gondola to see what our options are. I think a bit of weather has moved in last night, so the snow line is not too far above us. And we kind of broke through the clouds. It was crystal clear up above. It was just gorgeous. We already discovered the top under the snow and the really great scenery. And we are now under the, the trees and trying to find like uh, incredible trails and good dirt and like more technical and challenging. Francois joined us and he has seen a great deal of success racing, especially in the last couple of years. And he's really coming on and making quite a big name for himself in the enduro world. The guy is so confident. And not only that, but he's got a great sense of humor. He fit right in with the crew, I think, pretty much from the onset. First time for me to come here, and I discover like a really impressive place with huge mountains. And when you come here, you can experience very old trails, natural, with roots, with uh, switchback, so many trails. You know, it's kind of cool to be able to experience a, a place like this that is stunning. I mean, it's jaw-dropping, the region. But to get here, and it's in almost its mountain biking infancy, is actually kind of a cool uh, opportunity, I think. I mean, the potential is ridiculous. So yeah, today's our, our final day here, um, and just kind of take the opportunity to, to utilize um, the, the good weather and, and actually take in the surroundings. We took a cog rail up to uh, Kleinerschattig, which is halfway up to what is Europe's highest rail station. It is a pretty cool place where we ended up. We are right at the base of the north face of Eiger, which is this super iconic peak, like super famous in the mountaineering world and the climbing world and staring straight up the thing. It's pretty wild. Never really thought that I'd be biking in Switzerland. I was really happy for the opportunity because riding super fun trails with tons of vert, like really long runs, and interesting, challenging riding through scenery and in an atmosphere that you can't get anywhere else. It was an amazing trip.